A jury has been selected and the trial begins 8.30 a.m. Wednesday, today, for Chiquicia Clemens on misdemeanor disorderly conduct and resisting arrest charges. The 40 jurors called Monday were dismissed on Tuesday morning. 12 were selected from a new pool by the end of the day Tuesday. Clemens was initially charged over a year ago with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest after she allegedly threatened employees of a Sarah Land Waffle House. The video of her being subdued by subdued by police officers on the floor of a restaurant went viral and drew national attention from civil rights advocates. Petitions and protests on her behalf aimed to get the charges dropped. So often now you've heard me refer to the Waffle House, like when I talk about like how, how I can't believe that black people are still eating at the Waffle House. Um, and it occurs to me, like every single time I mention it, somebody says, what happened at the Waffle House? And I'm always confused that, at the fact that black people don't know what happened at the Waffle House. So, you know, I'm going to do my part to inform you about what happened at the Waffle House. OK, here we go. OK, so this is going to be a three parter. So I can kind of keep it short. Um, April 2nd. Um, in Pinson, Alabama, Chiquisa Clemens got into an argument with um, the employees at the Waffle House there. They wanted to charge her for her plastic utensils for her takeout. So they get into an argument. The Waffle House employees then calls the police on Chiquisa. The police then attempt to arrest Chiquisa because Chiquisa is trying to get the number to the corporate office to call to complain about the employees, right? She's sitting there calm, cool, collected. You'll see the video. And the police then begin to arrest her over... Uh, plastic utensils. They arrest her, throw her to the ground. She has on a tube top dress. Her tube top dress comes down. She is on the floor. They are rolling around on the floor, them attempting to arrest her um, while her breasts are completely exposed. It's a disgusting scene. Okay. And then the Waffle House uh, then stood by their workers and said that they did the right thing because she threatened violence. Uh, Meanwhile, the same day, Jacinda Mitchell posted a video of being locked out of a Waffle House while white customers were served inside. This happened in, Al in Alabama on the very same day. Okay, so now fast forward to now. The witnesses, now you're going to see this on the video. The witnesses report to the police that they ask, uh, that the police officers asked Jaquisa to comply, but she refused and she refused. You, you'll be able to see all of this on the video, okay? So now what I thought was interesting, right? Because I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Chiquisa is a beautiful girl with a ridiculous body, okay? Listen to this. Keep that in mind as you listen to this. Public Safety Director West and other members of staff have reviewed the video numerous times. They have looked at it from every angle. And they have listened to what the witnesses have said and they are not choosing to take any action at this time. I personally believe that they wanted to see. And they have, with all of this me too, how come that's not a problem for people? That these police officers sexually assaulted this girl in public. They rolling all around on the floor, exposed her breasts. That is, I, I, I don't, how is that connection not being made? That this is a sexual assault that happened to this girl. I really believe they just wanted to see. What makes this even more disgusting is that now they found her guilty of resisting arrest after months of protests and after 500,000 signatures that judge Mark Irwin said that, that Clemens was found guilty because the facts of the case met legal definitions required to find a person guilty and had nothing to do with the high level of motion that had played out in the weeks before in the weeks and months before like this is ridiculous okay and this is the first incident that I have at the Waffle House me personally once I heard that I don't live down south but I would have never returned to the Waffle House again after that, just hearing that, I'm not supporting you. I don't understand why we as black people beg them to take our money. Why do we do that? You can take your money. Don't you know your money, your spending power, your buying power is valuable. If somebody does not respect your money, does not want your money, why do you beg them to give it to them? After that situation, I would have been done. Now, some people didn't know about the Waffle House, but those of you that know about the Waffle House and you still win, I don't understand. I don't understand. Because let me tell you something. You talk to me crazy one time, I'm never coming back. And I don't even have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of spending power. Me alone by myself. But us as a collective, we have a lot of power. Okay? Now check out one, two. This was one. Check out two and three. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah,
Well, no, but that's not what you're gonna do to me. You're not gonna grab on me like that. No. Come on, Kiki. Let's just go outside. Please, you said, please. Cause he just come here and just grab on me like for no reason. I would say I was going. Yes, he would. Have. I'll see this. I'll see this. Was asking what they do. I am at Waffle House in Pinson and they have the door lock and they have customers in here and they're saying that they're closed. The customers are eating. They are having to be white customers only and I am an African American and they won't but he's in there cooking but they're closed. And the young lady that's walking down there will not open the door and they have people that they're serving, but they're telling me that they're closed. Hey man, get the fuck out of her face. He's like, get in the car. Okay, so these are tweets from a Lily Jackson who was present in the courtroom um during the trial. Um, she live tweeted. Um, she said this morning statements begin in the Waffle House trial. Yesterday, the court struck a jury after two days of back and forth. I'll continue to live tweet through the day. Uh, we've heard from the head officer on duty during the incident and the waiter who communicated with Clemens and her party the most. Okay. Um, she also says there's a lot of contradicting testimony from today and the original statements given to the given to detectives 24 hours after the incident. Now, it'll be interesting to see which way those test those testimonies sway. We've been told there are multiple more witnesses that will take the stand. My guess is that we'll be here tomorrow. Family, Chiquisa needs your support in so many different ways. They've started a GoFundMe for her. Please donate to, GoFund to her GoFundMe. She has legal fees. Um, she has private investigators that she has to pay to try to, you know, interview witnesses that are, you know, that could clear her name, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, all of these things cost money. So please donate to her legal fund. <sighs> to donate to her GoFundMe, go to bit.ly slash C H I K E S I A GoFundMe. That's Chakesia GoFundMe. So that's B I T dot L Y slash C H I K E S I A GoFundMe. Okay, to donate to her. Go come on, come on, guys. Donate whatever you can because all of those, if you got $5, $10, it adds up and it will help her free herself. Okay, she needs help. Now, also, um, she is going, she's on trial right now. She needs your support. I think that she feels alone i'm all the way in new york i can't go to alabama but i gotta have a couple of followers in, in alabama right there's got to be a couple of family members there you guys go down to that courthouse with and be with her tomorrow just show her support bring her water bring her food bring her you know give her a little donation slip her a little something a little five dollars in her hand like help her out let don't let this sister feel alone she already felt alone on that floor and naked don't let her feel naked with her clothes on in the courtroom. Y'all go down there, okay? So the address of the courtroom is uh, 205 Government Street, Mobile, Alabama. That's 36602. Um, so that's 205 Government Street, Mobile, Alabama. The courthouse opens at 745 in the morning. I'm not exactly sure what time her trial starts. And also, I'm curious as to why they think it's okay to charge her with this. Is anyone else curious as to why they think this will be okay? Maybe you should actually call the courtroom and find out. The courts can maybe tell you why that they, what crime took place here. Um, um, the number is 251-208-7055. Um, like I said, please have this sister's back. She needs 
family surrounding her. 